How would you define a robot? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> you know that's an unsolved question? <laughs> oh, that's a really interesting problem. Robots are very difficult to define, right? Because you can say it's a joint thing of sensors, actuators, and computers, but many things fit that definition. Anything that has intelligence, anything that has sensors and actuation, uh, and any system that operates in the physical world is a robot. So the definition of a robot, I think, is still being contested. If you have a, uh, a cell phone that is watching you with its camera and can see what you're doing, uh, that's a robot. I mean, Siri is a robot. One definition that's, being, that's often used for robotics or for what a robot is, is it's an entity or machine that can sense, plan, and act. Sense, think, and act. It's something that has the ability to sense its environment and has some ability to move and move autonomously in that environment. It doesn't always have to be autonomous. There are plenty of robots that are, what do we call, teleoperated. But if it can't sense its environment at all and make some kind of decision for itself based on that information, then I don't really think of it as a robot. A robot, as we see it, is something that um, senses the environment, computes, and acts in the environment and then makes things happen physically and then there's this feedback loop where it keeps repeating. So it can't just sit there, it's got to really be a physical device that's doing computation. To me, a robot is something that helps people. It's something that either makes our lives better or makes our lives more comfortable or just makes, I, I guess, the robots make the future. <laughs>